we're going to tell you just a little bit about what Nucleate is, uh, sort of what we you know, sort of stand for as an organization and a little bit about our activator program today. So uh, welcome everyone one more time. We're uh, Nucleate Boston, we empower biotech leaders. And we generally start these sessions with just the question of like, why should you start a biotech company? Like, what, why is that a good idea? Why do we you know, believe in that? And as an organization, we strongly believe that starting a biotech company is a really good way to bring science to more patients, to you know, reach more people in more places with the science that you have. And um, not only is it like a really you know, high value, high leverage, impactful way of using your science, it's something that we think is really achievable. You know, there's a lot of biotech founders out there who started very big companies and did very big things on their first time. And we think that there's really no reason that you know, there shouldn't be another generation of people who do the same. It does take a lot to start a biotech company though. There's a lot of uh, work going into the IP and the development of the company itself, recruiting people to run the company with you, creating the whole plan, finding lab space. There's, there's just a lot that goes into it. And so helping to bring that barrier down is what we see our purpose as. Nucleate is a nonprofit organization that connects scientists and business students to facilitate the formation of pioneering life science companies. We empower early career innovators, we build community, and we connect you with mentors that help speed the route to funding, and we provide practical advice along the way. So that's kind of what we're out to do and, and why we're setting out to do it. This year, uh, we're really excited to announce that we have a national community who's going to be doing it with us. We've been running this program in Boston for about the past three years. And this year, we're going to be running in 10 new cities. So the, there's universities and graduate students, just like a lot of the people on this call, who are going to be running parallel programs, helping to form new ventures around new ex and exciting science in places all over the country. So very excited to be welcoming uh, a national community this year as we build out from Boston. So that's a little bit about the organization. Uh, this next section is going to tell you a little bit about the program itself. And so the program uh, that is Nucleate's flagship is called the Activated Program. And really, it consists of five different steps. The first one is team formation. Second one, set strategy support. And then hands-on workshops with professional development. And then we wrap up with the final pitch showcase. It's important for us to say right at the outset that this is a program that involves no equity at all. We, in fact, don't even require that you form a company as part of our process. And we don't enforce a specific co-founder relationship as part of our process. Really, truly, we are trying to bring down the, you know, the energy associated with forming a company as low as we can. And so as we talk about these different steps of our program, we're going to map them to the cohort cycle today. So it runs on the academic calendar. Uh, the core team build happens in the fall here, November to December. And then we put the mentorship uh, on the team in January with the support team build. Then we run through really the meat of our program, which is that curriculum of workshops in February through April. And final pitch happens in May. So we're going to walk through each one of these in just a little bit more detail. First here is team formation, which is really just introducing the scientists and business students who are interested in launching a venture, facilitating a mutual matching process, and then selecting the teams that are most likely to benefit from our program. And so you know, starting out at the top of that, that funnel, so to speak, we are drawing from the largest pool that we've ever drawn from as part of Nucleate. Nucleate began as a project of the uh, Harvard Biotech Club and the MIT Biotech Group. And this year, we're going to be drawing from a much, much greater vision of, of Boston and New England. Not only are we reaching across the city to BU, Northeastern, and Tufts, and Boston College, we're also going outside of the city to Dartmouth, and Brown, and WPI, and UMass. So both on the technical side and on the business side, those are the folks we're going to be pulling from today. And uh, then the clinical applicants are going to come from a, a number of the different hospitals that we have partnerships with. And Beth Israel, Mass General Brigham, and Dana-Farber are some of the largest. Talking a little bit more about where we go from there, once we pull in all of the applicants, this is sort of the rough process. And the applicant pool goes through really an initial screen to become candidates as the first step. This is really just uh, a fairly light screen, making sure that anyone who goes into our mutual matching process is really a strong candidate to form uh, a team and a company. We're going to be trying to make sure that everyone has at least on the technical side, some amount of data development, something more than just you know, an idea on your head or on paper. And on the business side that, you know, the, the background of the experience that you have in biotech is more than just um, sort of a curiosity. Some we're really looking for, you know, skills being brought to the table, genuine interest in the area. And, but past that initial screen, we get to the candidate pool. And from there, it's a candidate driven process of mutual matching. So as the organizers, we help facilitate a, a large number of meetings, helping you, you know, if you're on the technical track, make, meet people on the business side and vice versa. But from there, it's up to the candidates themselves to choose who they would like to partner with. 
And we think that's really one of the strengths of our program. It makes sure that you, know, you have really a lot of investment in the person who you're going to be working with. It also makes sure that you, know, you, you can sell either yourself or your idea. Um, you know, of course, you know, forming a team is only, only going to be the first time you have to do that. And so after these teams come together and we get our semifinalist teams, then we go through a final interview. And this is uh, a more structured interview with the organizers where we go through you know, an interview with the whole team together and run through a couple different you know, types of questions. We generally ask questions around your vision for the company, where you wanna go and what you wanna do with it. Some questions around your fit together, you know, how, how, how do your complementary skills uh, come together? We ask some questions around your sort of fit for the program. Do you know what it is you wanna get from Nucleate? And we ask some questions around your IP as well, just making sure that you've talked to the TTO of your relevant institution, that you've talked to your PI, if that's necessary, making sure that everything is happening sort of above board, above the table. But that's the process. And the people who uh, make it through that final interview become our finalist teams and uh, enter our cohort. And that's phase one. So teams built November, December, next phase is strategy support. And really here, this is taking that core team and just adding a, a really strong support system of mentorship. And the mentors that we provide the team come from one industry. They're generally entrepreneurs and executives, some from large companies and small, from VCs, uh, from a whole bunch of different sort of corners of the industry, but industry mentors who can say uh, from their own experience how building a company is done. We also provide legal mentorship in partnership with some of the IP law firms that Nucleate is connected with. And these help to navigate sort of the IP landscape and the corporate law landscape. Uh, they can give advice on helping to negotiate uh, IP with the university if, if spin outs really become a serious question, these sorts of things. And then finally, we provide uh, clinical consulting as well. And this is in the form of a medical resident drawn from one of those universities on the earlier slide. That person usually sits somewhere between a full team member and a mentor. It really just depends on the dynamics of the particular team. But uh, in all cases is a really good source of sort of clinical insight, making sure that the team is really tracking toward unmet medical need. So those are the different types of support that we provide. This is just a list of some of the different um, types of mentors that we've uh, brought in in the past. We're very lucky to have the participation of a lot of uh, really thoughtful, influential people around the ecosystem, and we're looking forward to their participation again this year. We also are able to provide through some of our partners additional types of support to some of the teams that can use it. Uh, there are teams that are doing more um, you know, computationally focused projects or more um, you know, projects that require various types of support. And uh, we have some types of agreements that allow us to provide uh, in-kind resources or, or the like guys advice from some of these specialized folks. So another type of support that we're able to provide for Nucleate. But that's phase two. Uh, so we built the team, we've supported the team at this point, and now we're headed into the curriculum, which is really the meat of our program. And this uh, has really two components. First is these hands-on workshops. This happens every two weeks. We'll go into the uh, sort of cadence of it in a second. But the idea is really to attack all the different types of risk that the new venture is going to provide and, and really provide some good basic education around those. And second, these workshops are going to be run with experts that we uh, bring in and partner with. So uh, we'll bring in VCs to run the technical risk workshop and lawyers to run the IP risk workshop and things like this. And that uh, really helps us ensure that not only are you getting uh, sort of an education, information about these different types of um, risk areas, you're also getting a network, someone that you can go to and ask questions of in the future. So we'll dive a little bit more into the curriculum here, which is what we're showing. As I mentioned, it runs from February till May. Workshops are about every two weeks and they uh, attack all, the, all these different types of risks. So you can see some of the ones up here that we typically include in our program. Note off to the right is that we do revise it a little bit year to year. And so I, I won't promise you that this is exactly what you'll see, but uh, generally, you know, the different types of risk for forming a plan, as well as the different types of risk around uh, running, fundraising for a, a company are all the things that we tackle. And as I mentioned, uh, these are run by expert practitioners. Uh, we put a lot of effort into ensuring that the people who your company is working with are not only very knowledgeable and know what they're talking about, that they're ideally as aligned with your uh, sort of area as we possibly can. So we uh, work hard to make sure that if you're working on a um, like life science tools company, that there is a, a life science tools company CEO that's going to be talking to you when we get to our founders workshop, that sort of thing. So. Again, uh, very lucky to have the support of a number of different folks across the industry who have helped us with this and looking forward to their continued support. 
And that brings us to the last phase, which is our final pitch showcase. It's uh, a fun event that we hold every May. We bring in uh, a few top tier judges from VCs to be the, the panel. And then the team, uh, the full cohort of teams presents uh, their final pitch to the judges and are uh, you know, judged for a chance at a $10,000 prize. This happens in front of an audience that includes everyone who's participated in the program over the cohort. So that's all the mentors, all the experts, anyone who's come in for a single workshop to help us uh, gets an invite. And it usually uh, makes for an audience that's uh, really interesting, of, you know, mix of academics and you know, industry mentors and whatnot. So very interesting event. It's um, sort of set up as this competition, but really the, the $10,000 isn't the point so much at all. The, the point of getting to the end of this program is that by the time you're done, you have a business plan, you know, made up of the product of all of your workshops. You have a pitch deck, again, made up of the product of all of your workshops that is ready to go and take your company to whatever the next step is. And for some, that's going out and raising real money, you know, going to, you know, your first seed round or something like that. For others, it's a little bit more time in academia, working through a data development plan and getting to that point. But really, uh, you know, the final pitch showcase is a nice capstone for us, but it's really the point of the program to make sure that all of the companies that come through it are ready for their own next steps, regardless. And we're uh, pretty proud as an organization of some of the companies that we've helped form and support. Uh, over the three years that we've operated in Boston, we've helped to put together 29 alumni startups that have gone on to raise about $24 million in outside uh, venture funding. One of our uh, favorite examples is Glyphic, who's actually part of our third most recent cohort. They uh, were formed from, uh, from partners that uh, met across the country, actually. Uh, Nucleate ran virtually last year during the pandemic. And uh, Dan was a PhD at uh, MIT here. And Josh was an MBA at Stanford and uh, had never met each other before the program, but by the end of it, uh, had moved to be in the same city here in Boston and had actually completed uh, their initial seed round, led in part by one of the uh, mentors who they were connected, through to, connected to by Nucleate. So uh, one of our uh, favorite stories. So that's the, the pitch in a nutshell. We think that Nucleate is a great way to build your network, to you know, meet someone who might be a founder or who might be a mentor to you for the long run as you look to build a new business. We think that there is uh, a lot of perks that we can help give you as an organization, both in terms of you know, the education and the mentor network, uh, who you'll get at through the process, and really uh, that continued expert mentorship, both you know, through our workshops and beyond, uh, is, is what we think helps make some of our companies successful. So I'll uh, pause there. I can, uh, we can take some questions now from the audience. I'll just go through uh, one more slide here, which is just some of the requirements, and we'll uh, leave that up here as we uh, transition to questions, yeah, give us just a second, we'll turn off the recording. <laughs> 